guys, here we go. So, time to start doing a little something something to this thing. Oh, let you see exactly what they are, but we got some tires right there. And uh, we got a leveling kit for the front of this thing. So, getting ready to uh, get these wheels off. And then, uh, I think this leveling kit will be pretty easy to install. maintain here i don't know we'll see though but uh she should be looking pretty different here pretty soon pretty soon it shouldn't take long to get this done so uh i'm gonna get the kit on it the leveling kit it's uh it's a pro ride one um basically uh from one inch to three inch adjustable so uh, i'll get that on it and then uh get it set and level and take it get a get the alignment done on it and then uh i'll get the new wheels and tires put on it and see how she looks but she's about to be looking better she's about to be looking better for sure so all right i'll shoot as much of this as i can as i'm going through it but as always i'm here working by myself so it's not always so easy to uh shoot video and work at the same time but uh here goes nothing all right guys check this out this is actually pretty easy so the you can see the pro ride uh adjustable kit is in so basically this is where your adjustment is this is the top of the this is the top of the strut housing so um this is how you adjust it there so this is your lock nut that goes on top of it so you would loosen this up and then uh, adjust this in and out. So right now I've kind of had the truck down already and, and checked it and uh, pretty close. I was like a quarter inch off on the other side. So I've kind of adjusted that one, uh, but fairly, fairly easy to put all this stuff in. I took apart a little bit more than what you're supposed to because uh, I didn't use any kind of spring compressors or anything on the strut. So basically I took the, the caliper off um, I disconnected the uh, upper control arm, uh, tie rod came out. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I pulled the nut off the front axle here to allow that to slide out to give me a little bit more room so I could move the whole lower control arm and everything out of the way to get the strut in and out. Getting it out was uh, fairly easy. Getting it back in with the, um, with the leveling kit on top of it, obviously, uh, you're taking up some of that space with the leveling kit. So I loosened that up uh, so I could slide this out and actually pull the lower control arm out. Um, and what else did I loosen up? Oh, here. So uh, these pins here, um, which is your sway bar in links. Uh, I loosened it up from the bottom of the, uh, down here from the lower control arm there. Uh, yeah, and then basically just pop the strut out, um, bolted the um so this is kind of where it's kind of goofy now so the strut's not actually bolted into the strut housing right now anymore with these three bolts so part of the kit bolts onto the top of the strut the other portion of the kit bolts into the housing here and then uh and then the strut goes back in so the only place that the strut's being held at top on the top here is with this uh this big nut here that's kind of what holds it in place and then uh, the whole plate slides around so you can adjust it up and down. So it really wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, took me probably a little bit more time to do the first side because I had never done it before. This is the first like level kit I've ever done on a truck. Usually when you're doing a, a legit lift kit, right? You got everything pulled apart anyway because you're changing anything. So um, I don't know, probably took me maybe about an hour on this side because uh, I originally didn't pull everything apart that I just showed you. I just kind of followed the instructions that they sent with it and pulled apart the, the pieces that they told you to pull apart, which basically they tell you to, uh, to loosen this, loosen this, loosen your lower strut mount there, and then loosen the top strut and uh, the upper control arm there, and then everything will fall apart. It did. The strut came out, but then I couldn't get it to go back in. And I didn't want to use any, I don't like using those spring compressors 
that clamp out on the outside of these things and you can see you ain't got much room in there anyway to try to compress that spring to get it back in uh and then that's when i dropped all the rest of the stuff out of the way and uh and i got it to go back in fairly easy so yeah she's pretty much all done um i'm just gonna put this inner housing in i pulled that out too the uh, inner the plastic fender housing there um so i could get in here easier and adjust this you got like these harnesses up top that uh that kind of right across the top of the strut housing here so yeah i pulled uh pulled that out and i'm getting ready to toss that back in and uh we're gonna see what she does she'll be pretty level uh side to side too like i said i just adjusted a little bit i've actually already had this back together and been driving it around but uh so she'll be pretty level side to side so i'm gonna drop her well get that inner fender liner put back in drop her down and drive her up to the uh my buddy's shop here to get the uh, alignment checked on it um i can't see how much uh it changing much um but We'll get it checked nonetheless, make sure everything's kosher, and, uh, and then I'll bring it back and put the wheels on it. Can't wait. All right, guys, so got the wheels and tires on, and got it all leveled, everything set. Just getting ready to go out and put some miles on it, and this thing looks like a completely different truck now. Check this out. Went with the Hostiles, 22 inch wheels. Uh, got the Niddle Ridge Grapplers just like that are on my truck. And uh, they're 33 inch, 33 by 12 fifties. So it gives it a little bit of stance, not a lot, just a little bit, which is what, that's what I was looking for. Got about a half inch or so poking out of the, out of the fender and the bedsides there. But this thing came together good. And I'm tired. This thing kicked my butt the last couple of days. Rolling around on the garage floor, getting it done. Hostile wheels. I love the way that black six star looks with the truck. Makes the chrome stuff stick out like way more. Like you can see.